Okay. So we have our new neutron detector here. It's uh, one that actually I bought. It's the guy in West Virginia built this one. And uh, this one has much more shielding around it. It's all metal. And uh, of course there's our high voltage circuit. Let's pull this area up a little bit. Okay, so there's our high voltage circuit. And we're about 120 volts input. And let's take a look at the scope. It's got some AC noise on it, but during the burst you can see that there's some uh, peaks coming up. I'm not sure if that's noise still getting in or uh, if those are actually neutrons hitting, but it's definitely only there when the uh, voltage is there. I'm not sure whether there's an AC ripple. It's kind of grounding issue maybe. I'll try to get rid of that. But there definitely seems to be some kind of uh, impulses happening there. frequency impulses that come as the uh, tube is pulsed. Mm, I have to look into it. Could be uh, electronic noise or it could be neutrons. Have to try to shield it some more and do some uh, null experiments, see what's going on. So this new detector has uh, shielded BNC outputs and shielded BNC inputs coming in from our photomultiplier tube. And the photomultiplier tube is set at 0.5. Oh. Must have some kind of problem because it's only putting out about 400 volts. And it's supposed to be putting out about 1,000 volts right now. Okay. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Take a look at that maybe. Okay, so here's a new high voltage or uh, shielded neutron fast neutron detector, and we're kind of doing a null experiment where I'm just kind of running the electricity near the detector and uh, seeing what kind of signal we get. Now, unfortunately, our our uh, power supply decided to die. It's only putting out about 550 volts, and it sh should be putting out about a thousand. So anyway, here's the noise that we're getting from. From the detector just just from the high voltage being brought up near it with a wire okay and uh, let's try to put the neutron source near there and see if uh, the signal looks different okay here's what the signal looks like now that there's, there's a sine wave that's a 60 Hertz sine wave that it's riding on top of and unfortunately since our our uh, power supply burn out we're not getting a big signal it's, it amplifies a lot more with that last few hundred volts and so it looks like there is a little bit of noise coming through but let's see if the neutron source gives us a different kind of shape okay okay so if we look at this here we got our neutron source near our detector The signal was looking a little bit different it was as it was starting up, I thought. Okay, so that is the possible neutron signal. And we'll look at the noise again. Okay, so there is the top of the sine wave, and we'll flip our power supply back on.
So it looks like we're still getting a lot of noise on this detector because of the close proximity of the high voltage. And our uh, power supply took a dump also, so we're going to have to probably try to find a replacement for that, or I don't feel like tearing that thing apart. So, so far, it looks inconclusive. So we're getting a lot of noise, so I can't really tell. Probably, probably if we are getting neutrons, it's probably fairly low, low count. And uh, if we're getting any noise, there's no way you're going to see low counts like that. And uh, especially with the uh, photomultiplier tube uh, power supply being messed up. So let me work on this a little bit more, and we'll see if we can uh, get the signal. To, that's that's always a problem with experiments: signal to noise. So we got a better shielded detector, but it's still not shielded well enough. Maybe we'll have to float it or something because uh, this is a high voltage AC signal, so it produces a lot of noise. So anyway. Yeah, this is Dr. Jane's and thanks for watching.